All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. High school basketball season part two is underway all this week as teams vie for their district titles in hopes of making their way to the region tournament. In boys basketball, the 57th district tournament got underway this evening from McGoffin County High School as the Painesville Tigers suited up to take on Johnson Central in first round play. Senior Austin Davis putting in work early, three points. The Tigers looking to answer and Seth Williams has the recipe from the wing. He puts up three points of his own. Future U Pike Bear Mason Blair wants to get on get in on the action from the perimeter. The basket is good. Eagles trying to secure the early lead, but Tigers Mason Moore goes up and in. But three points is better than two. Cole Crace for the Eagles, racking them up early as Johnson Central gains a steady lead over the Tigers. Seth Williams flying through the paint over defenders, keeping Paintsville alive, but Johnson Central's offense was too much to handle. Austin Davis gains control of the ball, passes it down low to Cole Crace for the goal, and the Eagles win it from McGoffin County. Final score, Johnson Central 77, Paintsville 61. The Eagles advance to play the winner of McGoffin County and Sheldon Clark, which takes place tomorrow evening. The boys' 58th district tournament continued tonight from the D.W. Howard Fieldhouse. Last night it was Allen Central over Betsy Lane 44-40. Tonight it's South Floyd and Prestonsburg vying for that final seat in the championship match. Getting things started for the Raiders, Jake Collins brings it up the floor and takes it himself, moves past defenders and drains the 15-foot jumper. The Black Cats answer back with Blake Sloan getting the handoff and hitting one of his own. But South Floyd's big man, Brady Kahn, goes up and in for the big offensive rebound and then fights through contact, hits the layup, and draws the foul. The Black Cats answer back on offense as Austin Endicott steps into this pass and hits a big three-pointer. A close one tonight from the Fieldhouse. In double overtime, South Floyd wins it 79-76 over Prestonsburg. And from the T.W. Oliver Gymnasium, the girls' 59th district tournament got underway tonight. And in the nightcap, it was Eastridge and Pikeville. Pikeville off to a super start here tonight, pulling away with a 12-point lead early, holding the Warriors to just two with three minutes to go in the first quarter. Leslie Stewart, a key player for the Panthers, up and in. Basket is good. Eastridge looking for something to fall their way. Katie May from the pocket and the Warriors begin their climb, but the Panthers were quick to retaliate. Kelsey Joe Tackett from distance, and the Panthers keep it pushing. Moving to the second quarter, off the inbound, Savannah Nunemaker wastes no time off the, basket, off the board, and the basket's good. Nunemaker finishes with 16 points. Turnover's a problem in this one. Eastridge with 13 just in the first half, keeping them alive. Junior Brittany Tackett Knocks in three baskets in a row, bringing the lead to just two. She would lead all scorers tonight with 29 points, but Pikeville was quick to answer in transition. Grace Bartley gets a basket, leading the Panthers in scoring with 17 points, and the Panthers run away with this one in first-round action. Final score, Pikeville 75, Eastridge 59. The Panthers advance to play Shelby Valley in the 59th District Championship.